we did really well in the Southwest. I was awestruck at our res reception when we got to Texas. Texas loves red meat. That was when I knew that we were doing it right, you know? Because you get all up in a city and you're doing this stuff and it's like, if we took this to a barn out in the middle of nowhere and played it for a bunch of shit kickers, would this go over, you know? Or would they go, oh, bunch of city folks. And uh, we went over. Texas, Texas, Texas is my home. I'm going back there, never more to roam. Gonna catch a red eye flight from Boston. Gonna land me back in Austin, Texas. Texas is my home. I used to be an extremely far left leaning liberal. I found that over the years I have gone so far left that I am standing right beside some extremely right wing individuals. You know, I am out there. For the hour or two hours or three hours that I'm playing music for a bunch of people in a in a club, you can see their minds aren't focused on any of those things. As a matter of fact, they're given this blissful area of something else. They're not thinking about how much they hate their job, how much they didn't want to get up that morning, how much uh, that they hate their old lady, um, how much that they hate the next country over, you know? It's all just this peace, you know? You give people peace for an hour, and I see that as my purpose now, to be able to do that for people. Give them a little bit of bliss in the middle of all of this stupidity and chaos. In keiner anderen Stadt leben so viele verschiedene Volksgruppen auf so engem Raum zusammen wie in San Francisco. Hochtrabende Reiseliteraten nennen es daher auch gerne das Bagdad des Westens. Der Mission District ist die größte und älteste Neighborhood und sozusagen der alte Kern der Stadt. Hier wohnen in erster Linie Hispanics, Einwanderer aus Mexiko und Südamerika. Es gibt eine etablierte Latin Music Szene. Salsa, Merengue und kubanische Musik. Neben dem Boom Room und anderen Bars arbeite ich als Mischer in Jelly's Dance Café. Jeden Sonntagnachmittag schwingen hier ungefähr 300 Latinos ihre Hüften zu heißen Salsa Beats. Das Zuhause von Allen Ginsberg, Jack Kerouac und der Beat-Generation der 50er Jahre wird auch häufig Little Italy genannt. Hier wird der beste Kaffee der Stadt serviert. Ich treffe mich hier mit einem der berühmtesten Pop-Art-Künstler San Francisco's, Winston Smith. Er hat unter anderem zahlreiche Plattencover für diverse Bands kreiert und ist vor allem wegen seiner politisch kontroversen Aussagen in seinen Kunstwerken bekannt und umstritten. Nebenbei ist er einer der wohl ältesten Punks, den ich je kennenlernte. Ich 
that would cause you to think about what was there.